YouTube is in the process of rolling out a new end card feature that makes your links, your videos, your playlists, everything you feature in your end card very interactive for both desktop and mobile, thus effectively replacing annotations. Let me take you to my desktop and show you exactly what it looks like and how you can use it when you get it on your channel. Let me start by showing you guys what this looks like. Here's a video uh, I did a few like last week. See, there's a video that pops up. You can click on, and when you I hover over this image, this whole thing opens up, taking you to my website, Video Creators, to learn more. It's a call to action. So these can be positioned anywhere on the screen. They do work on mobile and are obviously very attractive. You can see them pretty easily. So let me show you guys how that works. I am here in my video manager. Uh, we're gonna use this video as an example. It's one, a private or unlisted video I made just for patrons over at patreon.com slash video creators. We talked about uh, some stuff on an interview with Peter Holland. So you're gonna click this down arrow and go to end screen and annotations. And the first thing you'll notice is that there's this grid right here. Now this is the safe spot the safe area where you can place these new end screen cards. You can't put them up here because this is where the interactive cards are gonna pop out and show. And obviously you don't go down to the bottom or else the player will cover it when it's embedded and uh, people you know, go to click the, the player slides off in the bottom. So this is a safe zone. You can turn the grid on or off right here if you want it. I'll keep it on for right here. So one first thing to notice is that you can only add it to the very last 20 seconds of the video. You can't add it at any point. It's only only, these only work on the very last 20 seconds. You can see they've already automatically put me here at the end. And uh, you can have it, uh, you can do it anytime inside the space with a minimum of five seconds at the end. So I could make them super short at the very end if I only wanted a five second end card, but the maximum here is, is 20 seconds. So let's go ahead and add one and then I'll show you guys a few cool things. So one thing you must always have is it you must always have at least a video or a playlist. You cannot add any like just a a link to your website or something. You must always have a video. So I think there's, there's a couple options here. You can click on create. They're kind of cool. One is you can show your most recent upload and that'll just automatically update to whatever your most recently uploaded video was. So that'd be great for daily content or time sensitive content, you know, whether you're news and you wanna show the most recent news uh, video that you've made or maybe your daily vlogger or something like that. Best for viewer is what I'm gonna choose for, for this one, for example. But this one, just allow YouTube to select a video from your channel that best suits the viewer based uh, presumably on their past viewing uh, habits and their viewing patterns and sessions and what they're subscribed to, what they search for to find your video, things like that. Or you can choose a specific video or a specific playlist um, or any other, if, if this is showing us on my channel, but if it's not on your channel, you just paste the URL of the YouTube video or the playlist right here for, let's just use best for viewer right now. So it's gonna create this element. You do have the ability to resize it a little bit, but not a whole lot, okay? So there's not a lot of room. I, I'll just leave it right here. And then you can position it wherever you want. Let's cover up my face and leave Peter's here. Uh, and so that has nothing on it right now. It's just going to be, that's just the placeholder basically for that video. Well, let's maybe add a subscribe. Okay, here's the subscribe and I'll put that. Now, if you overlap a little bit, it turns red. See that? It says, hey, you're overlapping. It's not gonna work. So I'll put it, you know, maybe down right here. Uh, and you guys would obviously design the end of your videos to make it optimized to look like these pieces naturally fit. I'm just putting over top of this test video, but obviously you'll want to move over to the side while you're talking or something like that. And let's just add a uh, channel's pretty straightforward. Let's add a link. I'm going to do one to my free ebook, The Secret to Building YouTube Audience. You can also uh, use this to different merchandise sites, crowdfunding sites, any associated site to your channel. And I'm over the limit. I always gotta remove this. This is pretty cool. You can select the call to action. In my case, it's an ebook, so I want to download. But you could also sign up, shop, learn more, visit, order, buy. You know, I'm going to put download right there. And then my image, you can flip through some of the images that are that automatically detects on that page. Uh, I'm going to upload a uh, click change image and upload a better one here. There you go. That one's better. Create element. And that's going to create this little square of my ebook. Uh, for kicks, I'll just leave it in up, up, upper left corner, okay? So down here is where you can start to slide some of these. Let's say I want to show my ebook 
first. So I'm gonna put that in. And then I want the video creator subscribe button to pop in. And then I want this best for viewer thing to pop in. So I can just slide these to the best uh, position that I want them to be in, just like that. And I have this one obviously uh, set for, they're each set for different lengths. All right, now you're gonna click this little preview button and get it, it's gonna start playing a little bit before and give you, uh, show you exactly what it looks like. So here's that, that pops in and then boom, the subscribe thing pops in. And then after a few seconds, boom, here's the next best video that YouTube recommends for the viewer who's watching this video to watch, okay? So you put this on pause. So you've got, one thing you gotta rem remember is that it's not just this square. Some of these, when you hover over them, the secret to building your YouTube audience, that pops up, right? There's the download option I selected. So you gotta leave room on your screen, like at least half your screen for these things. Same thing with this. See, it takes up like half the screen. Um, the, uh, the, the videos and the playlist tend not to, they just tend to, they don't have that white background that flies out, uh, that just tends to stay like that. But you do have to keep that in mind as you do this. So one more cool thing, um, let me switch out of preview mode, you can click anywhere or just to toggle that off, is, uh, this import. Now what you can do, let's say you have like the same template that you want to use in a lot of videos, or maybe you just want to repeat the same one you used in a previous video, click on import and it shows you all the videos here that are using one of their end screens. So I, you can just click one, any of these videos that has one, the one that you want to use, and boom, it just automatically loads it all right in here for you, making it super easy and super simple for you to kind of have your template and apply it to new videos. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below how you plan to use this feature on your channel. And then you can also use some of them right here and find videos that might be relevant to you. Subscribe to the channel because this place is all about helping you guys grow your YouTube audience so that you can spread message, reach people, and hopefully change and impact their lives. That's what all this is about. So I'd love to have you subscribe, check those out, and I will see you guys again on Thursday for another tip video. See you then. Bye.